I used an object as a starting off point to create an abstract artwork. It's quite a nice way to go. I did get stuck in the middle, so I'm going to show you what I did when I got stuck. I tried to keep to a limited palette and then I got stuck in that as well, so then I added some turquoise. So lots of problem solving in this video and ways to get through that those blocks that, are, that occur all the time when you're creating. Whatever you do in your art making practice, you work out ways that make you enjoy your art making and for me being fast is just turns out to be one of the things I like to paint for hours and hours but I love to work quickly so the beauty of masking fluid is how incredibly playful you can be I've chosen a color palette here very earthy uh, colors and then I'm going to replicate that over here with a lovely big brush I'm going to generously wet my leaf, generously, generously, and that is going to allow me to just enjoy dropping in colour wherever I want to, and this is when you can paint like a child, just joyfully hum away to yourself if, if that's what you like to do in those lovely moments where I'm just going to tip off the excess <laughs> and it just does beautiful things um, without me having to try. This is a brownish colour so I'll put a little bit over here. I'll put it, do it this way and then it'll be a bit easier for you to see, won't it? Now I'm left-handed so this is a real challenge <laughs> to do it. but this is much better for the camera angle. So, Getting to this point was an absolute breeze. It was just fun, a little bit of masking fluid drawn quickly, a little bit of paint. I did a little bit of thinking about which colors I was going to include, but otherwise that's it. I didn't have a design in mind. I had nothing in mind whatsoever. I've, I've gotten, gotten stuck. stuck. So what I go and do is start just flicking through art books that I have. I absolutely adore these illuminated manuscripts from the Middle Ages. So this is another of my incredibly favorite artists. This is um, Udamaro and I'm just going to flick through again in the same way and I'm looking for inspiration. So I had this beautiful plan of not changing the colour much, but I can see that this green is just giving it this incredible vibrancy. So I'm going to go in for this bluey green, which is, I'm just enjoying myself, just being quite playful. stencil just makes your job so easy. I am finding this a bit distracting so I'm going to see if I can, oh no I love that bit, maybe remove it just here. This sponge is just collapsing, I'll just chuck that out. It's going to make my job easier. Okay that's much easier. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is a block and um, when it's perfectly dry, you put your palette knife in there where it says open. And I'm not going to do that until it's bone dry because that gives it the best chance of being flat. So if you enjoy putting together abstract paintings, you might also enjoy using wax paper to create some of the textures for you. It's such a beautiful way to work. And I'll put a link at the end of this video to a video that uses wax paper and creates an abstract landscape. Thanks so much guys for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.